What's up guys? We're back. Another video. Thanks for checking me out. Lapper Flips, lapp 30 underscore flips. Check me out on Instagram. Follow me there. And uh, hit the like button below. Uh, helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the love I get here. Listen, NHL playoffs are winding down. Um, we have my Colorado Avalanche lost a pivotal game five to go down three to two. They'll play tomorrow against the Knights. Hopefully they can get by there. But, you know, we had New York Islanders uh, knock off the Boston Bruins. I'd say a little bit of a surprise, maybe not. Um, you know, I, I think that was a really great series. Fun to watch, great hockey. Uh, Montreal Canadiens moved on past the Jets in a sweep. Jets played eight games. There aren't many teams that have played eight games in the playoffs. Um, that's, you know, uh, a club that's reserved for, you know, some infamous teams, but they got swept by the Montreal Canadiens. So Montreal Canadiens are moving on to play um, the winner of that Avalanche and Golden Knights series. And we have, who did I miss? The Tampa Bay Lightning have beaten the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina, Carolina has a lot going for them in the future. You know, young team, they're going to get better. And, you know, they, they put up a good fight. Those were fun games to watch, too. Some good talent over there. But we're going to take a look at some market movers today. Some playoff players, some not. But we're just going to take a look at the market. Um, check out my last video where I talked about market cycles. I think a lot of this sort of touches on it. We're going to see some trends in, in some cards moving down. Um, but let's just get right into the market movers. All right, guys, let's get into some market movers. First of all, thanks to these guys for making such a great platform, always adding hockey cards. If you want to try uh, market movers for a month at a discount, I got a link below, so you can go ahead and click through that and see if this is something that you want to use. I, I think if you're taking you know, the cards seriously, these graphs and charts and all the, the comparisons that you can do really help out, and I think that it's a great tool for those and and pretty much a must have if this is something that you want to do but we'll get right into it so one of the things that i look for is right here on the left hand side we have price movements per player so we're gonna order it by the players uh we're gonna go hockey and i'm gonna select some years here we'll select straight down through to down to 2005 or so 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 we just want to get an idea of what's going on I'm actually only gonna take a look at PSA 10s and we'll put some raws in there because not every card has a PSA 10 and then we're gonna filter this just by young gun young guns base if I could type young guns base so we got that there and we'll leave everything else blank and then we can just do a search here after we hit the search, I'm going to order this by the last 30 days. So the playoffs been going on for just over a month. Uh, so this is going to give us an indication since the playoffs started what's happened. Um, I'm more interested in players that have gone down when I'm looking for four players. I'm going to switch this as well to 100 per page so that we have more, more data here. So we'll take a look. First guy, Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson card went up after his incident there um, with, who was it, Artemi Panarin, anyways. So that card's come down. We'll take a quick look at, at Connor McDavid and what's going on. Again, I'll refer to my, my market cycle um, video. A lot of what you see here is was fully expected, and I expect this price to likely keep falling, as, as I expect most cards to, to fall. So, you know, as little as... What do we have here? This is about, this is less than a month ago. It was holding at about 4,100 and down to about 2,700. So we'll go ahead and expand this out and just have a look. And, and you can see, you know, Connor McDavid's card on the way down. It certainly doesn't speak to Connor's talent or anything. This is just something that I, I think that, that we're going to see in the off season. And I think we'll continue to see that. So Connor McDavid, we'll take a look at Alexi Lafreniere. Um, Take a look at his PSA 10, and it's somewhat holding up. It's down from the sales, but another card, $485. Remember, this is US dollars for his PSA 10. And we'll take a look over um, the long term, what's that done? So we certainly certainly see a trend down with Lafreniere. Is there going to be opportunity here in the offseason? Possibly. Um, one of the things that I am looking to do is buy more PSA 10s in the offseason you know buying maybe a couple copies as opposed to a whole pile of raw i will be doing some flipping on comp c which which i'll go through as well and i will show you some of the players that i'm buying um but alexi lafreniere you know continue i expect to see that continue to fall be really interesting to see how far um a card like that comes down i think because 
he's a rookie, you know, along with Kirill Kaprizov, who we have here. I think that these guys are going to hold a little bit more value through the offseason than your average Joes. So this is a PSA 10, which isn't a great card to look at because there's just no volume there. So we'll just take a look at his raw to get a better idea. There's just more data points to see what's happening. So still see a trend down and we'll take a look at 365. A lot of people talking about Kirill Kaprizov. Well, what happens when he wins the Calder? I mean, my answer is I don't expect much. We, we got another two months. That's going to be awarded sometime in August after the Stanley Cup, I think. Anyways, after he wins, like maybe he'll see a very small spike and a very small window there. Uh, but in general, like I don't think this is going to send his card soaring. No one, no one's going to care in August. That's the way that I'm looking at it. If you think that that creates an opportunity, you might want to give this another month and see where this card settles in at. It's down to 108, and even if we look just um, a month or so back, you know this card was up at 160 dollars. So from 160 to 108, you know there may be some room there to to have him fall a bit further. If that's a play that you think you know could come to fruition austin matthews bumped out of the playoffs obviously and and what happens to his card well you know we see a sale there um back up a little bit but in general it's come down so it'll be really interesting to see what the next couple of sales are at matthews you know you had some sales here at the end of 1300 us 1200 us and uh so these are the three lower sales and then one higher sale so it'll be interesting to see what the next one goes at obviously if someone's going to try and sell it at this 1500 point i'm not sure it goes for that but austin matthews right there take a look at a couple more here's one who i'm uh certainly watching dylan cousins for the buffalo sabers and he's seen a downward trend as well and this is a little bit more speculative but dylan cousins you know see what happens next year who else do we got here that we could take a look at who's in the playoffs adam fox down a bit you know 18.89 percent and again remember this is based on the last 30 days bow and byram i would expect to see that pick up if if he does get in with the abs and if the abs can move on because i believe he's going to be playing tomorrow's game uh jack hughes is one i'm going to be watching in the off season especially this one the psa 10 here his graph is really interesting so he had a last sale a little bit higher, but uh, it's held pretty close to the 240 down to actually down to 208 right there. But if we extend that out, we get, we can see he's fallen. Remember, this is when he had six points in his first three games. Um, I pointed out in another video right after that. We just saw the decline. But so last sale at two hundred and thirty six dollars a sale before that. Last sale at 236, sale before that at 208, you had a bulk uh, in between. But if we look over here, you know, it's at about 160. Even if we take a look when we're leading up to the season 230, I, I think it could easily get to this price. I, I don't see any reason for this card to hold value. Jack Hughes, the guy, maybe I'll take a shot on um, this year. This would be the last time um, I talked about him versus Nico Hischer. I actually like Hischer a little bit more, but that's Jack Hughes, so I'll I'll be watching him. I should have a, a star on him, and I do. So those are some of the players that I'm watching. I'm not watching all of these players that tightly. I won't even get into why they're all starred, but uh, don't think that I'm I'm watching all these guys. So here's Timothy Stutzla. We'll take a look at his base. And Stutzla is coming down. So Stutzla last sale at about $56, $60. He's on Com C right now for $49.99, but we'll extend this out too and just have a look. I, I think we all know what's happened with him. I, I think he's going to be good opportunity next year, um, you know, but I would be holding off to buy it. I, I don't think this card's going to fall down to some of the price levels that other players might just because the the speculation is going to hold him up you know he may hit something like 45 dollars and then people will be like wow that's a pretty good price to get in on stutzla so i'll certainly be watching him see what happens in the off season so then what we're going to do we're going to go back to the top and we'll look at some of the players who've increased in value so max domi evan bouchard uh we'll sort of ignore them although charlie mcavoy is an interesting one so i've talked a lot about not being big on defensemen you know boston just got bumped out today McAvoy's sales 
in the last 30 days from 175 up to about 211 it'll likely fall now but if we take a look at the 365 day you know this card's come from um back in december when prices were obviously pretty low 70 80 dollars you get this thing for under 100 dollars for months and it's up to 211 dollars this is why i think that the psa 10s create a bit of an opportunity um perhaps in defensemen where you know the raw value um, I can actually pull that up to have a look. So we'll take a look at the raw versus the 10, fully extended out. And, you know, at the back end here, we have $80 up to 211. So that's about 250% somewhere in there. Now we'll take this out. So you certainly do see the growth in the raw. Um, it's just not quite as dramatic. If let's say he's here at around an average of 15 bucks or something you could grab him at then his raw price only went to 24 so you're not even doing a hundred percent on that where we were at 200 and some odd percent on the psa 10. so perhaps there's an opportunity in you know more in the psa 10s if there's a player that you believe in who could increase in value the raw may not be the best play what i would suspect is that this raw at some point moves up to to meet the psa 10 or the psa 10 value comes down the multiple is very high we'll take a look at his ratio so he's trading over the last we'll take a look at 30 days seven day average doesn't really matter so he's up at about 9x so a great grading card when you can buy this card for 15 bucks and get it graded and you know, if you get a psa 10 you know sell it off for 211 dollars but that's an opportunity i saw in mcavoy but you know i'm more looking at just um the PSA 10 opportunity that is created and you know opportunities that exist within other players so that's Charlie McAvoy take a look at see if we find someone in the playoffs carry price there we go there there's a guy who's having you know a, a wonderful a wonderful playoffs um we'll take a look at his raw because again it also has more data points and it's still you know relatively relatively few data points for the last 30 days but we can see that his card was floating in here somewhere around the 190 what is this about 230 dollars we'll call it down here there's a 200 dollars sale and now it's up to about 350 dollars uh for the for the raw for the base um so a good little increase once montreal gets knocked out i i suspect they don't make it through vegas or colorado i'm i'm sorry montreal fans i i think one of those teams is likely gonna win it uh you know i would expect this to come down but carry price i got one of these it's a great card it's beautiful i just really like the look of the card and god it's carry price right can't go wrong Let's see what else we got here um nathan mckinnon Alexander Romanov, we'll take a look at McKinnon because these guys aren't overly exciting. His PSA 10. PSA 10 up a bit over the last 30 days. And we'll extend this out. And his card's been on a bit of a ride. I remember it all the way back here when I could pick them up for $1,000 all day. And, you know, today it's selling at about 1800 US. And that was $1,000 Canadian you could buy it at um, all through here and now it's up at about 1800 us i would expect this to come down when colorado if colorado gets eliminated but nathan mckinnon going up through the playoffs who else we got here we'll look at a couple more so miko rantanen is an interesting one i gotta we'll pull up the psa 10. i sold mine off at a at a very good price back in march and i actually think that it shows in here so this sale right here this 324 march 26th um detailed results march 26th march 26th so this is mine pretty proud sold you received payment for this item so i sold that item up at that up at that peak right here pretty proud of it you know i think i got a pretty good price 324 dollars and today it's only at 350 and that's the very peak um obviously if colorado loses that could go down if if they continue to win then it'll certainly see a spike but this is my sale uh pretty nice sale pretty happy about it and i got a bunch more mikos at psa coming back take a look at one more mark stone so he scored the game winner in overtime in game five 
anyways uh you know great player mark stone from manitoba here played for the wheaties and he's up at about 43 dollars. this is just the the raw version but his last last sale saw a spike and and he's continued to rise through the playoffs look back here though in december this card going for six dollars and and fifteen dollars us you know through this whole period um pretty insane and that's a veteran player that's something that i did learn this year too is that veteran players do have upside i did very well on all the jonathan huberdos that i bought at good prices you know i doubled my money on all of those but i'm you know don't sleep on those veteran players the problem is a lot of them have come up now so you really want to take a look at a graph like this and try and get it back to a price where you think that 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 upside uh exists again and and there is an opportunity so that's Mark Stone, and maybe we'll find one more guy. Okay, I'm watching. I know a lot of people are talking about Elias Pettersson and possibly buying him in the offseason, so we'll take a look at his PSA 10, the last card. You know, seeing some downward pressure um, to be expected. You know, injured a lot of the year. You know, he bumped up, and now he's been trending straight downwards going all the way back to basically, basically puck drop. Um February 5th yeah so this is where puck dropped and this is where he he's just fallen off from basically 450 down to 250 dollars and I think he'll he'll continue to see this may be an opportunity you're looking at I would really I would really watch this graph and and see where it goes but right now you know you're seeing a lot of downward pressure we'll see what happens but there's a few cards guys uh I hope you enjoy the rest of the playoffs hope your teams are doing well like this video leave me a comment you know let me know if you enjoy the video if there's some players you want me to highlight what do you think who's gonna win the cup you know we're we're getting down to it colorado vegas tomorrow big game thanks for watching check me out on instagram lapper flips lapp3r30 underscore flips and we'll check you